Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us. We are excited to bring you this overview on ETAP 22. So let's go ahead and get started. Harmonic analysis in ETAP 22 also includes major improvements. Harmonic analysis is used for a comprehensive load flow and frequency scan of your electrical system that may have power electronics or any other non-linear devices that generate harmonic spectrum. The harmonic analysis now includes the ability to give you total and displacement power factor, transformer derating, which is considering the eddy current losses based on ANSI C57, zero sequence harmonic frequency scan, and updated rule books with limits for harmonic current emission that's used to alert or let inform you that you are exceeding these limits at the point of interconnection. And these rules, new rules, have been added based on Australian standard 61000 as well as ENA G55 2020, which is the emission limit for United Kingdom. So let's see a few of these in action within ETAB. The harmonic analysis zero sequence scan is selected from the study case. So you can choose between the existing positive sequence or switch over to the zero sequence network and run the frequency scan. And as usual, ETAP will show you the impedance at the uh, one line diagram level you can use the slider to navigate through and see the zero sequence impedance changes, or you can simply go into the plot view and see the frequency scan information for uh, any number of buses, uh, including the positive and zero sequence frequency scan. You can also run the harmonic load flow within ETA, and the program essentially now gives you the current, total harmonic distortion, as well as the total power factor. The study report gives you the displacement power factor, which is the power factor in the system without harmonics, and the total power factor is giving us the power factor based on harmonic content within the electrical system. So this is the true power factor that we, we will be observing at the point of interconnection. You can also change the rules for harmonic emission limits by going into the harmonic page and instead of using the global compliance rules, you can also use the local compliance rules. And these rules are based on ANSI 519 and the new ASNZS 61000 or ENA G55, which is the British Harmonic Compatibility Limits. And of course, you have the IEC 61000 as well. So you can pick from these different emission rules and use those within the program such that we can essentially get an assessment of the harmonic limits that are being generated in the system and compare them versus these rules. And any issues or violations based on these rules are then, of course, graphically shown in the, uh, in the ETAP program uh, in the alert view. And the alert view essentially is a very good way to let us know that we are exceeding the total harmonic distortion or the individual harmonic distortion or both within this electrical system. ETAP 22 has thousands of new enhancements, features, and capabilities. Thank you.